Solar Edge has done it again and has created an innovative solution to keep your home powered through all of life's events. The new Solar Edge Energy Hub consists of these key components that make up a renewable energy system for your home. First up, you got a solar inverter, a battery inverter, a level two EV charging inverter, and a backup interface, all of which is managed through the Solar Edge monitoring app. Pretty impressive. The new energy hub allows you to generate, store, and monitor your solar power, battery power, and electric vehicle, which no other manufacturer is currently offering. Your home stays on regardless of what mother nature throws your way or the ever growing unreliable utility grid has to offer. But before I get into the complete details of this new solution from Solar Edge, please take a second to subscribe to the channel by clicking that little red button down below. And hey, while you're at it, you should click that little bell icon too. Yep, clean. That way you receive notifications on future videos just like this one. And if you are someone that lives in our area of Southern California and you are interested in going solar or adding battery backup to your existing solar system, then guess what? You should visit us online to request a hassle-free quote. I've included a link in the description below for you. All right, so the Energy Hub has been a system long in development at Solar Edge. Their vision has always been for a single unit to offer easy expandability with not just solar, but battery backup and other electrical connections like level two EV charging. Now, with the launch of the Energy Hub, Solar Edge has finally achieved this through what they are calling Prisma technology a single inverter that offers multiple connections so you can upgrade slowly or hey all at once if you really want to go all out right from the get-go and you're able to maintain highest level of efficiency and performance with the solar edge energy hub but what really makes the solar edge energy hub so unique is the new backup interface. See, this is an add-on component that, as it says in the name, offers backup power to the home because it's a backup interface. Now, at first glance, this may not seem all that impressive because it's basically a 200 amp auto transfer switch. But unlike the Enphase N-Power smart switch or SMA's auto backup unit, this backup interface can have up to three, yeah, you heard me right, three Solar Edge Energy Hub inverters connected to it, offering a whopping 27.3 kilowatts of power and 60, yes, 60 kilowatt hours of battery storage. Now, not everybody's gonna need that, but if you need that much backup capabilities, Solar Edge definitely has you covered. But what really makes it unique is it being the first hybrid inverter to do this. See, Enphase's N-Power Smart Switch kind of does this, and so does SMA's Auto Backup Unit, but both of these are AC coupled solution. Now, Solar Edge being the first to do it with a hybrid solar battery solution. This is not something we've previously seen from any of the manufacturers in the solar or battery market and makes it a very attractive system for those in need of this much raw power and storage. The Energy Hub works with LG Chem's new RESU 16H Prime battery. And while I'm not the biggest fan of LG Chem, and I'll explain in a minute, this new battery is still very impressive compared to the original RESU 10H. Now, mind you, this is a 16 kilowatt hour battery. It's considered the prime. They're still making an RESU 10H, but it's now a 10H prime. So you're getting more storage at a slightly more price point, but it actually balances out because instead of needing two RESU 10H batteries for roughly um, you know, 18 kilowatt hours, you can just get one 16H battery for 16 kilowatt hours, which is much better. 
Now, one thing worth noting with the 16H prime battery is you're getting a 100% depth of discharge from this new battery, which is sized, like I said, at 16 kilowatt hours compared to the RESU 10H, which only gave you 90% depth of discharge. Well, so that's a, that's a substantial amount of extra energy. And for what it matters, it provides six kilowatts of continuous energy versus the 10H, which only provides you five kilowatt. And that's important because that means you get more backup capabilities when you have more energy being displaced from the battery. Now I mentioned I have a gripe with LG Chem and that's their customer service. So I'm not saying their technology is not good. Don't, don't take it that way. It's just for a company as large as LG, you would expect a speedy process in the event a unit failed, but honestly it's anything but. And in my experience, like they take weeks sometimes to reply to an email, especially with an RMA, and they're notorious for pointing the finger at the other manufacturer's equipment when it's clearly their battery's issue. Now this doesn't, their equipment doesn't fail very often, but if it does, it's worth noting that you wouldn't have to deal with the warranty because we would be dealing with it because we offer a service warranty when you buy a system from us. So use that link in the description below. Now. In the meantime, if, if you did have to have a warranty claim, you know, we would be handling it. I would recommend that you expect one to three months for the process to be made if a battery had failed. Obviously, this isn't something you as a consumer would have to deal with, so don't stress it too much. And like I emphasized, we provide a 25 year service warranty, so this wouldn't be your headache, but it does mean you, build, you would be without backup capabilities during this period um, where we're working with LG. Now, there is some good news, and that SolarEdge is getting very close to releasing their own in-house branded battery. I've been really anxious for them to do this. They bought a battery manufacturer, I think like two years ago, maybe three years now. And they've definitely been working diligently on the release of their own battery. I have no idea if it's gonna be similar to like an LG chem style battery or if they're gonna go more modular, kind of like end phase batteries. It, it's really hard to say, but either way, I am anxious to see what SolarEdge brings to the market and have a solution much like Q-Cell's Q-Home where we're only having to deal with one manufacturer to make a warranty claim. But battery aside, SolarEdge offers a 12 year standard warranty on the Energy Hub and it can be extended up to 25 years, which there isn't a single hybrid inverter on the market offering anything close to this warranty, not even as a standard. Heck, Generax PowerCell which previously was Pika Energy, had an extended warranty option, so you could go from the standard 10 year to an extended 20 year. But when Generac acquired Pika Energy, they got rid of the extended warranty and have no plans on bringing it back. That's something worth noting. SMA, their systems come with a standard 10 year warranty, but you can extend it to 20 years. Again, the standard and the extended are still less than the Solar Edge's standard and extended. So obviously Solar Edge is doing something right here. Now, most hybrid systems come with a standard 10 year warranty and cannot be extended though. So besides the two that I've mentioned or SMA really, um, pretty much expect your inverter to have a 10 year warranty if it's a hybrid system. As for additional perks of the Energy Hub, like the level two EV charging capabilities, or you can actually hook up like a tankless hot water heater. I don't know how that one exactly works. I think SolarEdge is supposed to release their own I don't know, but honestly, I would encourage you not to incorporate it. My reasoning is rather simple. The inverter is already doing a lot for your home, whether it's dealing with the solar or dealing with the battery. So if you add another component for the inverter to deal with, I just feel you're putting unnecessary stress on the system. I get you have a warranty, but why stress the system even more if you don't need to? So you don't need to make a warranty claim. I mean, honestly. Now, if you only had the energy hub for solar, so no batteries at all, and you don't really plan on adding batteries, then sure, it makes sense to include the EV kit because your 
simplifying the amount of components on your wall and the amount of breakers in your electrical panel. If you only have space for your solar system and you need an EV charger, then this energy hub is a great solution, especially if you are gonna do it with batteries. I mean, you really could do the EV kit. I'm not saying you shouldn't, and I'm sure SolarEdge has done a tremendous amount of testing before releasing this new technology, but I just feel if you get the solar with battery, don't do the EV kit. But if you get solar and you need the EV, then definitely include that. It's, it's not that much more. There's another huge advantage the new Energy Hub system offers, and that's SolarEdge's integration with the SPAN Smart Panel. Yeah, the SPAN Smart Panel. This was something I was pretty shocked to hear about and has only recently been announced. Now, if you're not familiar with SPAN, I suggest you check out one of our past videos. But in a nutshell, I'm gonna explain it. So SPAN is a smart panel that allows you to control your circuits in your home virtually during a power outage. Now, it doesn't have to be, but it creates a virtual backup emergency loads panel, which is really cool. And you can literally, during that power outage, change what circuits are receiving power during that grid failure. So you have full control over your electrical panel during a grid failure. And that's not anything anyone on the market is currently offering. This will help you manage your load so you get the most from your battery and the solar system. SPAN isn't for everyone, so keep in mind this type of technology is pretty pricey and it's not required for the Energy Hub system to operate, but it's very, very cool. And it's a nice add-on for those of you that are interested in a whole home backup with smart controls, because that's really what it's gonna do. And if you're someone that likes that type of capability or very granular type of data about your home and how it's using energy, the span panel is definitely something you might wanna look at. Now, I'm always big on including pricing in my videos because I think it helps those of you looking at solar or battery backup shop options. The quotes in our videos are usually generic but we do our best to provide real world pricing. Now, with that said, it's always recommended to request a hassle-free quote from us so we can customize it to your home and your exact needs or wants. But before I do that, we have one more cool thing to tell you about the SolarEdge backup interface. We can connect 15 kilowatt standby generator to it. Now, SolarEdge hasn't released full integration yet. So I, I do want to kind of, you know, put that little asterisk there, but they are working on a list and they will have hopefully later this year, a list of compatible generators available that we can integrate directly with the backup interface. So you can have the trifecta of emergency backup. Now, this is something a lot of people ask for because the best home backup solutions is really a solar system, plus battery, plus a generator. It's refreshing to see SolarEdge thinking ahead and listening to consumers because this trifecta of backup is really requested so much. Now that you know the finer points of the SolarEdge Energy Hub system, let's talk price. I've designed a couple options for you to look at. First up is your run-of-the-mill SolarEdge system using the Energy Hub so there's no battery included, there's no EV connection, it's just a plain old solar system. It's your starting point. Now all the systems with their pricing will be using 21 of QCell's brand new, yes, we just got these in stock, QPeak Duo ML-G9 Plus 380, all black modules. These are phenomenal. If you're not familiar with QCell, definitely check out one of our previous videos. But this system is basically an eight kilowatt DC system, which is perfect for the Energy Hub 7.6. Now, this puts us at $25,131 before the federal tax credit of 26%, which if you include this, then your net system cost would be $18,597. Not too shabby for a system that allows you to add more solar in the future, add batteries for time of use, or backup, or add a generator. 
or add an EV kit. I mean, you can just keep adding things to the system, which is exactly what SolarEdge wants. Now, if we add an LG Chem RESU 16H Prime battery to this, but not the backup interface, because you can just get the solar and a battery for time of use, so you're more designed around self-consumption and being less reliant on the grid just on a day-to-day -day basis. This system would be increasing your price, of course, and you're looking at about $38,396 before that 26% ITC, which, again, would give us a net cost of $28,413. Now, the next variation would be to include that backup interface. So, as you can tell, I'm kind of taking you through the steps so you can keep adding on to the system. You can start with solar, add a battery, and then, add the backup interface. Now obviously the pricing was gonna be different when you're adding component by component, so you should get a quote if you wanna at least get this started. Back to the backup interface. So we're looking at a solar system with battery, with the backup capabilities. We're gonna be looking at about $44,988 before that 26% investment tax credit, which if we include that, gives you a net cost of $33,291. Not too bad for an eight kilowatt solar system with 16 kilowatt hours of battery storage and basically a whole home backup. The final variation is if you go all out and include the SPAN smart panel. This is, again, an eight kilowatt solar system, 16 kilowatt hours of battery storage, 200 amp auto transfer switch, whole home backup with a SPAN smart panel so you have virtual control over your entire electrical loads. We're at $52,701 before that tax credit, which again, if you factor that in there, we're gonna be just shy of 39,000. It's basically 38,999. Not too bad. I mean, it's under 40 grand after that tax credit and you have whole home smart backup with your solar system, you've gotten rid of your utility bill, you don't have to worry about the unreliable utility grid anymore, you don't have to worry about mother nature, and if you want, you could add a generator to it in the future as well. Now we are a certified partner for SolarEdge, LG, and SPAN, and the pricing shown does not include any promotional discounts they may be offering at the time when you go solar. So right now we have some spring sale discounts definitely a good time to request a quote right before summer because the biggest advantage to the energy hub system is you can make these upgrades over time you don't have to do it all at once so you can start with just the solar system like we've shown or the solar and the battery system just for time of use and then add the backup interface in maybe two or three years this is what is so beautiful about what SolarEdge has created and what their goal has always been for homeowners to be able to gradually expand on the system and their features. So you're expanding your features and capabilities on a very reasonable budget. So if you're interested in any of these systems, then visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote. We make it easy for you to learn and compare different solutions and products. We're certified for eight different battery backup systems. And we have great partnerships with the leading solar panel brands to ensure we offer you the best possible pricing. So if you want Solaria panels, you want LG panels, you want Panasonic panels, we can give you the best price possible paired with your best priced solar edge system. So use that link in the description below to get your hassle-free quote. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel when you're down there. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.